We just yesterday, we ta- or two days ago, we talked about the uh, Japanese chef who cooked and, and served up his own penis Gen- and testicles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and the real interesting thing about that was that there's no laws against cannibalism in Japan. Oh. You can eat whoever you want in Japan. Mm-hmm. I guess as long as you don't kill them, as long as they offer up their own testicles, you can eat it. Right. Ugh. Here's my lips. Eat it. And, they, and it's fine. Right. I wonder how lips would taste. What would lips be like? Would you think they'd be like calamari? I feel like fatty, I would think. Like if you if you bread yeah. it, I think I'd have to bread them. Like I think you gotta have the the bread lips and then kind of kind of cook them lightly in a, lightly in an olive oil. Not like, not just deep fry them. No, I think I'd, I'd lightly cook lips in like an olive oil base, and then uh, would you have a good dipping sauce? Oh, you have to. You'd have <laughs> to have that that dipping sauce that the calamari has. Yeah, that white stuff. Yeah, it must have. Horseradish, or I don't know what's something even like in that. It. I don't know what's in it, but Dill or something. But see, that's that would be the benefit of being white is that no one want to cook your lips because no. you guys don't have any. No, so it'd be like, like so black people would be again. We it, we'd it's be a screwed. It, we would be screwed. <laughs> people be people be flying down to Africa just to get lips. <laughs> Especially, especially them over. oh man, especially the ones who got the plate in their mouths. You know how long those <laughs> lips are—the ones that put the plate in there and the lips are out to here. Boy, you could—that would be like that would be like the delicacy. You'd find that like right. on, the, on the on the menu next to filet mignon and right. and Kobe beef. It'd be like you know African Lip. Zimbabwe plate <laughs> lips. 